Hey everyone, Trina here. Um, hope all is well with everyone out there. Um, I know it's been tough uh, for all of us with the whole COVID-19, staying at home, um, quarantining, and then we have the whole, um, you know, pandemic, cultural pandemic with Black Lives and protesting and everything that's been going on in this state of the world it's been very challenging emotionally mentally um, physically um, as you guys know I'm a business owner brick and mortar business um, entrepreneur and founder of a nonprofit I have two small kids that's seven and nine years old and I haven't been staying home all day like some people say um, they're trying to figure out what to do next as they're bored or they're watching Netflix or they're doing all these things. I actually have been really, really trying hard to keep my business afloat. Um, in March, we got the call. We could no longer have people at the studio to take classes. And so we started offering live stream classes. And we've been live streaming ever since March 17. We've been making sure we offer all of our classes to everyone virtually online on demand so they can also get the recording and play it later and I definitely am truly thankful for my incredible um, some of my incredible instructors who have stuck it out with me they've been absolutely amazing and phenomenal for coming into the studio and teaching online live streaming on zoom and they've been doing it um, consistently over the last three and a half months and I, I'm really grateful for them um, in the beginning you know I've had a lot of support with some of our students our uh, clients who've purchased packages for online classes and given us donations um, I've definitely got a huge amount of support and also wanted to mention um, you know I posted uh, a lot of d details and information about what's going on supporting black owned businesses and also women business women in business supporting um, women business owners and um, I really try to make sure I put out information that people can learn from and get educated from and that's what I do and I just wanted to put it out there me being a, a black business owner in Burbank I would say the majority of my clientele that have supported me um, for so long and even during this time have been white or Hispanic or Asian, uh, predominantly white. I've gotten donations, I've gotten calls, emails, support um, for people that were not um, black <laughs> like me. And the reason why I'm sharing that is because being a black business owner um, in in a neighborhood which is only like a one percent black, um, it's been a great experience. But it's also hard um, when you don't see your own people supporting you as much as well. So sometimes it, it's it, you know you think about that because now that we're offering classes virtually online. I remember I would see posts from people in other cities and states saying how much they love what we were doing on our Instagram feed as far as the classes we were offering, online classes and demand classes. And when we were in studio, people used to say, wow, I wish I was there so that way I can come and take some of your classes. Well, now that everything is online, where well, you can live stream from anywhere in the country, anywhere in the world, I was hoping that people would say you know what now I can go online and take a virtual class now I can get a class maybe on demand and they can help support and maybe want to try to patronize um, my studio Rockstar Dance Fitness and um, I was really surprised um, that I, I got support from my, my regular students my regular clients but not anybody else out there who saw the classes that we were offered and maybe really liked it and gave us good compliments but never really supported us and i know everybody is in a different financial situation out there i know there's some people that's 
getting a, a few extra stimulus checks out there or extra um, unemployment checks and maybe they need to save their money. Uh, we offer affordable, reasonable prices. And um, one thing you'll notice that we offer our classes online um, because this is our business. This is how I have to survive to pay our rent every month, our light bill, our internet, pay our instructors. We've been able to keep them paid while they've been teaching all these three and a half months. And I know a lot of times people see free videos out there online on Instagram or uh, Facebook or YouTube and you see all these free um, influencers who actually you know do these classes and you're like okay well I can take a free class and I commend them for working hard to teach a class um, but and I know you know a lot of people follow people because they have a lot of followers and it's sometimes disheartening for me and I'm just gonna be really real I've been in the fitness industry for well over 25 years. I have a Bachelor of Arts in Dance. I've been a certified personal trainer for over 20 years, certified in kickboxing and stretch, as well as um, group fitness instructor. I've worked at major gyms um, in New York, uh, in LA, and Pittsburgh. I've always been in the fitness industry. Um, and it really sometimes hurts when you work so hard every day to promote your studio, to promote your classes, and to promote your, your instructors. And people online and on social media are only looking to follow people who do the tricks or do a few good moves or they have a lot of followers. They don't look at your background, your education, your experience level, how much knowledge you have and what you're doing, how hard you work every day just to keep your, your business going. They don't even look at probably your Yelp reviews or Google reviews to see how good of an instructor you are. They only want to know how many followers. And I bring that up not only for people but like networks and news and television host and you know everyone is looking for that influencer who has a lot of followers versus the years and years and years of experience that you have in the industry of fitness and dance and wellness and a wealth of knowledge that you can actually share with people and give to people. I mean, in our studio, we've helped so many people build their self-confidence, um, self-esteem, um, help them with anxiety, depression, lose weight, get off of high blood pressure medication, um, get off of diabetes medication. Actually, people who have never danced before in their lives been able to come to our studio, Rockstar Dance Fitness, and have been able to actually feel confident enough to dance because when they've gone to professional studios they felt embarrassed and they didn't, they didn't feel like they were good enough and I've offered hip-hop classes and you know African dance classes Caribbean classes and you know we've offered um, musical theater if they've always wanted to do Broadway style everything that people wanted to do growing up but maybe their parents didn't let them do or they, they didn't get a chance to participate in we offer those kind of classes here at our adult dance fitness studio and so I just wanted to share this with you because I'm I'm a mom of a seven and a nine year old I'm a busy brick and mortar business owner which means I have to come in and out of my studio every day I don't have time to constantly um, film videos of myself and, and look perfect and have a perfect Instagram feed and be a perfect influencer because I'm not just an influencer in the way of social media. I'm influencer of real life people every day, not just through social media. I interact with people every day for 20 plus years of my life. And so I just wanted to share that when you start to look at people's feeds, not just judge them by how many followers they have, but actually look at their skill level, their experience, their training, how long they've been in business. Actually, maybe Google them, maybe see some of the work that they've done and um, really try to give support 
um, to people who you see are the real deal. Maybe nowadays people don't even know the real deal. They just see, hey, this person has a lot of people following them. So they assume if you have a lot of followers, then you're the real deal. And it's it really is disheartening sometimes, but I just keep going because I know I've been in business for over seven years and that's just this business. I've owned other businesses, I've got Rockstar Dance Fitness, I've owned uh, for over seven years, or coming up seven years in September. I have a nonprofit I started in 2017, which is RS Confidence Academy. And our mission is bringing mental and physical wellness and cultural diversity to enrich the lives in the community. We have been preaching that mission um, three years ago, before everybody else has started to talk about cultural diversity. Um, one of my mottos for my studio is talking about cultural diversity, um, great environment, positivity. And so I've been preaching that through my business for years. And I just feel like, you know, a lot of times when people say they want to support black businesses, sometimes it's only certain businesses. I see, you know, on the news, they feature restaurants all the time. They may feature a few retail shops. They may feature a few things here and there, um, people who sell like items. But people in the fitness industry, and I'm speaking for a lot of us in the fitness industry who actually sweat and teach and work hard um, to give people a great service. Um, so if you are a person in the fitness industry and you're an instructor and you teach dance or fitness or boot camp, I teach boot camp, I teach kickboxing, I teach a, a program I created called Afro-Caribbean Grooves Fitness, I teach a variety of things. And so I just wanted to share that because unfortunately, if people don't see a lot of followers on the people's Instagram feeds, I don't know the tricks, you know. There, this is a different world today. There's a lot of tricks out there of buying followers, like getting a lot of followers. And unfortunately, news channels and networks and talk show hosts, they only uh, call you on their show to really know about your story if you have a lot of followers or you went viral. You know, not everyone knows how to do those tricks to go viral. You know, I'm a hardworking woman, a black woman, a mother of two black children that has worked hard all her life but particularly especially during this pandemic i've lost a lot of sleep and actually my hormones are probably out of whack because of lack of sleep or you know not being able to self-care like i would need want to go to the chiropractor or get acupuncture or get a massage or get my own workout in aside of running a business um there it's just a lot you know what i mean and so I just wanted to share and see if anybody else out there felt um, the same and understood um, where I'm coming from and also maybe any feedback because it, it seems like sometimes, you know, we all work hard every day and you apply for these, you know, SBA loans or these PPP protections and these government business loans. And they don't tell you that 90% of black owned businesses right here don't even get the help that they said that the government is giving. We have not gotten any support, any loans. You don't get approved. There's a lot of paperwork that's not um, explained to you. If you don't have a certain forms like, uh, you know, W-2 employees versus uh, 1099 employees, you don't qualify for a lot of these loans. And a lot of people don't um, know that out there. Everybody assumes that if you're in business, the government is giving you money while you're struggling to pay your rent and all your expenses um, for your website and your marketing and for people to be able to register online. All this stuff costs money. And people assume that we are getting financial support from the government because they might have gotten their stimulus check that if you're a brick and mortar business that you must have gotten support too. I'm here to tell you, we don't. We don't all get support. Only some companies out there get support. So when you see a small local business and you have an opportunity to at least maybe refer that business or try out a class. You know, we offer everything virtually online. We offer classes on demand. So meaning if you can't take it in real time online, we can email you a copy on demand and you can come to our studios. I mean, we have a minimum 
of eight, but we have masks. We take your temperature with the thermometer and we do social distancing. We've marked a floor so that way everyone can spread out accordingly for safety. So I just wanted to share that um, with you. I'm gonna try to speak more often. I don't normally um, post any like long speeches as much on my page because like I said, I'm not a social media influencer. I'm just a hardworking black woman that's a mother that's trying to spread her brand of Rockstar Dance Fitness, not only locally, but throughout the country and throughout the world. There's a lot of tech companies out there that's competing with small businesses like ourselves that's actually trying to take customers from us so that way they can market through their apps and then they can make more money for their half a billion dollar company. Meanwhile, the small businesses are struggling just to keep the clients and the students that they already have. So again, I just wanted to put this information out there because I just feel like I need to get it off my chest and I need to let people know how it really feels to work hard every day, but not to seem like it even matters to the public because if you don't have a lot of followers or if a news station hasn't really broadcast your industry because I, I I look for other fitness professionals that have been featured on the news and it's very rare I might see celebrity trainers and um, and they have to be a celebrity trainer that's another celebrity knows in order for someone to feature but a lot of these trainers are coming you know they probably don't even have the expenses of a brick and mortar business like we do where we have to pay our rent every month we have to pay our light or internet we have to pay instructors we have to keep up with our expenses off of barely anything coming in losing almost 80 percent of your business so i just want people to know what's really happening everybody's not getting um, financial assistance from the small business administration everybody's not getting um, help from all these other programs that you think that we're getting help from even if they extend the deadline for small business loans guess what we still don't get the help that you think we all get. So again, I want to personally though, thank my clients and students who have constantly supported us by buying virtual online classes, by Zooming with us and donating um, to our Venmo account and supporting us and giving us your emails, telling us how much you appreciate us giving you online classes and giving you that wellness and that fitness experience to free your mind for an, a good hour and 60 minutes of your time to have your favorite dance class or favorite um, yoga, Pilates, sculpt or kickboxing or hip hop or musical theater, or Afro-Caribbean grooves or Zumba or U-Jam or Groove three class yes we offer a variety of classes so I just wanted to share that and like I said if you have any feedback if you have anything that you would like to share um, please let, let me know in the comments because I love helping people stay mentally um, fit mental wellness is very important especially during this times physical fitness is very important and psychological awareness is very important so definitely um thanks for listening because sometimes it gets very hard it's not easy for me to even do this but i'm doing it because i just feel like i have to get it off my chest because i cannot compete with followers and um influencers i'm a real fitness and dance professional that's been doing this over 20 plus years and um, I'm a mother of two, seven and nine year old, and it's not easy just to get up and make videos and make them look perfect and pretty and know what hashtags and tags and all the games to play to get more followers. I'm just an everyday, hardworking businesswoman that's trying to help everyone else reach their best potential in their lives through dance, wellness, arts, and fitness. So again, thank you so much for listening. This is Trina Robinson Kimmy here in Burbank, California from Rockstar Dance Fitness and ArnestConfidenceAcademy.org. Thanks so much for listening. Appreciate it.